So what am I doing sitting here on the beach in Ocean City on a ball? Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to start by showing you this picture. This is Pluto. This is the best view of Pluto man has had. It was taken from the Hubble Space Telescope. But this summer, we're about to get a much better view. For the first time, a spacecraft is going to fly right by Pluto. And you're going to hear that it's billions and millions of miles away, but that means nothing. I want to show you how far Pluto is away. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a scale model of the solar system, and that's our sun. Now, I've already done the maths for you. We're going to show you how far away the different planets are. Prepared to be surprised. Rachel Dipsky and her son Ethan were enjoying the sun and sand, and I asked her to make a guess about our scale model solar system. That's the sun. How big do you think the Earth would be? Um, about that. Hold that maybe up. Maybe about that big. Right. Well, see this okay. dime? That's almost too big. Wow. <laughs> it's to be about as wide as a dime. Okay. And the answer is we're going to walk 193 feet to Earth. So this is why you can have a scale model of the solar system in a classroom. If our ball is that big, to get to Earth, I have to walk 200 feet. The New Horizons spacecraft has been traveling at about 30,000 miles per hour. At that speed, you can get from the Earth to the moon in just eight hours. Pluto, though, is so far away, it's taken 10 lonely years in the cold, inky black of space and all for a few precious hours as it flies by. No one understands this better than Michael Buckley. When I spotted the sticker on his laptop that said, my other vehicle is on the way to Pluto, I knew I had to chat. He has spent the last 10 years working on New Horizons, and I talked with him last December at a major science meeting in San Francisco. You get one shot at the flyby, right? But yeah, it, it, there's the entire approach you get there. So we're gonna start to see Pluto come into light. Can you see me waving? I am 1.3 miles from our sun at the pier, and Pluto on our scale would be about half the size of your smallest fingernail. If jet planes could fly in space, I could reach the astronauts on the International Space Station in 30 minutes, and I could get to the moon in two weeks. To get to Pluto, though, would take 675 years. So I hope this gives you an idea how vast and empty our solar system is, how far away Pluto really is. You might wonder, where is Voyager 1, the farthest man-made object from Earth? Well, it's two miles farther down the beach and up about 2,000 feet. And our nearest star to our sun, 9,900 miles that way, sitting in the Ural Mountains of Russia. One last thing, in the past few we got our first images from New Horizons, and we now have a new best picture of Pluto. Here it is, and I hope you can now appreciate how very far away that blurry object is.